a random Leo appears. Hello guys, um, it's been a while, about seven years, uh, if I'm not mistaken, since I've last been here on this collab, and I hope you're all doing good. I've been kind of stalking you on and off uh, on this channel, to be honest, you know, lurking in the background, as I like to do. Um, but I haven't really gotten around to making a video, obviously, so here I am. I'm going to grace you with my presence as a, you know, 11-year celebration of this, of the existence of this channel. So let's dive into this. I'm going to start with you, Kate. Uh, I made a little note here um, of, you know, what you guys were talking about lately. And um, sitting here with my cozy blanket is still a bit cold. I'm in Ireland, uh, if you were wondering. Um, and so, yeah, uh, Kate, you were uh, talking about the project for Awesome. Uh, it was awesome, of course. And uh, it was amazing seeing you there. I distinctly remember your username. And when I saw it pop up in blue, I was, you know, very excited. And uh, you saw me apparently as well, which <laughs> felt even even more flattering that you still remember me and my username, you know, al alongside all of these other uh, people. There were, there were like 5,000 people in the chat or something. Anyway, well spotted, Kate. Yeah, we had a nice little chat um, and it made me feel like, you know, the divine is trying to tell me something. I should probably reconnect with you guys. So here I am. It's all thanks to Kate. What else were you talking about? Ah, uh, yes, uh, notebooks. I can agree with you on that as well. I have, and Nella uh, also, I have a whole stack. I really do like my stationery, I have to admit. And I have a lot of uh, books that I just keep buying, uh, little notebooks, all shapes and sizes with squares and, you know, lines and nothing in it, um, and just blank pages. And I do really like them, but yeah, they... They uh, take a while before uh, they get used. Or I kind of get attached to, you know, I want to use them for a special purpose because they have a special kind of, you know, wrapping or whatever, and then that special purpose never really arrives. And uh, yeah, so uh, I feel you. And uh, yes, uh, you were saying about ADHD. Um, <laughs> it's funny because, yeah, when I watched that video uh, of Hank, uh, where he was talking about, you know, seeing a lot of parallels uh, between what, ADHD is and himself and so on. Um, I found a really good channel. I don't know if that's the same one that you mentioned, Kate, but it's called How to ADHD. And I really like her. She just, you know, explains kind of it in a way with lots of funny videos. And um, I really do like it. And I do see a lot of traits in there as well where I'm like, interesting interesting um now i wouldn't i mean obviously i'm not a doctor i wouldn't consider myself like you know total adhd but there's definitely there's definitely some things that i can implement in my own life you know what i'm saying uh whether or not i am adhd it doesn't really matter i think it's just great advice in general so yeah i'm definitely checking those out and uh added subscribed and you know added them to my watch lists and whatever yeah, so then uh, we shall move on to Nella. Uh, she was talking about Berlin. Yes, Nella, I did watch your video. Of course I did. And um, I do remember the time in Berlin. It was very, very uh, amazing. I wish you would have shown the photograph because unfortunately I can't remember. But I'm assuming that I was wearing the sock monkey hat because funnily enough, I also lost that hat and I was very, very upset and very sad. I think I lost it in Vancouver a long time ago. Um, but yeah, anyway, I, uh, that was amazing. And, um, yeah, you know, obviously now with, with the whole COVID situation going on, um, it's probably not going to happen anytime soon that there's going to be any kind of, you know, meetups other than online. But, uh, either way, it's nice to see you. Hopefully we will meet again in person. Uh, dear Ollie, I wish you all the best. Um, I, watched a video as well about uh, post-surgery, etc. And uh, wish you a quick, speedy recovery, especially nowadays you can't be too careful and too, you know, self-caring and mental health and all that jazz and good stuff. That's what it's about these days. You know, going inside and figuring out who you are and what you want in life and 
what life is and, you know, all of that stuff. Uh, anyway, best of luck. I can see you're doing quite well with that, so kudos. Carry on. Oh, and uh, sorry that I didn't uh, make that dance video. I just, uh, I tried, but then it kind of, uh, anyway. If I can throw my two cents in about the home videos, uh, I am on the kind of same page with Nella and Kate again, <laughs> yet again, um, that my family didn't have a camera when I was growing up. Uh, the first time I was on video was in 1998. Uh, when I was eight years old, or seven, eight years old, and I was uh, on stage uh, with my elementary school, and we actually, we had this, like, 250th anniversary of the name giver of our elementary school. Uh, one of the students' mother was a theater... I don't really know how, to, how you call these people, but anyway, she was also writing, uh, so she wrote a play that I was part of, and it was so big that we were actually uh, featured on television and uh, on the radio. And like, a small TV program, but you know, I was in there. And um, yeah, that was really amazing. And it was kind of strange seeing my, watching myself on television, but uh, at the same time, I was like, all right, I can do this, that's how I'm... So generally, I mean, my mom was a single mom, uh, you know, I was living with my grandma and her, uh, so we didn't really have that much money. To be honest, I don't even know if it was the money or if if, if it was just the the point, kind of. But they were they were happy and they were you know glad to have just regular photo cameras where they took pictures of stuff. And uh, there was plenty of pictures and yeah, that. That was kind of it. Even nowadays, to be honest, I don't really use my camera as often as I should. <laughs> I'm gonna go into my life and kind of what happened in a second, but at this point I just wanted to say that sometimes I don't film stuff and then a couple years later I'm like, I don't have any videos of that time, you know, what happened there, and I kind of really would have liked to have some. Or what what also ha tends to happen to me is that I um, do shoot you know, vi videos and pictures on, on my phone a lot, and then it breaks. So I still keep the phone because I know that you can take the data from the phone somehow and, you know, put it somewhere else, but, uh, but it doesn't happen. I don't get around to actually doing it or going to a specialist and figuring out how to, or figuring out how to do it by myself. So then, yeah, I just kind of hold on to the phone. <laughs> And I'm sure I have plenty of videos by now that I just have forgotten about because I have no access to them, but anyway, keeping my fingers crossed to uh, Leo's future self, uh, who will hope uh, hopefully get around to, to do that. Oh, and that 10 years later challenge sounds amazing, so I'm going to get into that uh, soon. But first of all, I'm going to tell you a little bit about what happened in those uh, past <clears throat> years. So... <laughs> Um, when I was in Vancouver, I found someone, a guy, uh, he's gay, I fell in love with him, he fell in love with me. Um, I was kind of looking for flats and uh, I found this listing of, you know, where, that he posted. I went there, uh, we talked for two hours, uh, we basically told each other our life stories and we fell in love kind of right then and there. Um, and then the two days later I moved in and never left. So yeah, I've been living with him uh, since then, and then after a couple of years in Vancouver, we decided that, well, yeah, we decided that we wanted to go and see Europe, see if we like it, because he had never been outside of Canada before. So I said, look, I'm going to take you to a trip to Europe, I'll show you some places, I have some friends and family, you know, here and there, and if we like it, we can stay, and if we don't like it, we can go back to Canada. So... Long story short, we went, uh, moved around a little bit, we went to France, we went to Germany, uh, we lived in Malta, we lived in um, Northern Ireland, so UK, um, and we lived then in, uh, then we moved to Ireland proper, the Republic of Ireland. Uh, that's where we are now. So yeah, we moved around quite a bit, um, got married in between there. And 2015, got married, uh, had a son, I gave birth to our biological child. Um, so yeah, that was amazing. 
an experience that I never thought I would have. And uh, um, yeah, that was amazing. The nurses, uh, it was it was a first for everyone. Uh, we have a big house here now. I work from home. Um, I work for Apple, which is amazing because, you know, I... Uh, I get to work with all of this amazing equipment and I get to work from home and like I was able to work from home even before the whole pandemic thing started. Uh, thank God I was already working from home for a year when that happened. So I I knew the drill. I am a homebody. I love to stay home. So that was perfect. And that also means that we can move around in Ireland at least, you know, wherever we kind of like it. Um, so we ended up on the west coast of Ireland, the Wild Atlantic Way, if you're interested. Um, our son is four years old now. He's turning five soon. This child is the most beautiful child. Let me actually get a picture. There, that's him. That's my pride and joy. He is the best thing that ever happened to me and um, I am in love with him and I am enjoying every day that I have with him. He is absolutely amazing. He's smart. He is beautiful. He is uh, funny and I just love spending time with him. So my camera died and I went to bed last night because it was quite late. Um, so <laughs> this is part two. Um, I'm just going to finish this up quickly. So my son is absolutely amazing. Like I said, um, he is currently being screened for autism because he is nonverbal. Um, he did talk when he was younger, but then he stopped talking and, and um, we're getting there. We are using activity cards at the moment, which he's very happy to use. So he will point, you know, toward the card or he'll give, give us the card of whatever he wants. Um, so we kind of communicate that way. But because he will be going to school in September, you know, now obviously we're going to try and focus more on, you know, getting him to a certain level. Also looking at, you know, people that are going to be able to help him um, or special schools that are in the area and stuff like that, special classes. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on right now. We also have uh, five chickens in our backyard. Um, so we get farm fresh eggs every day and we are baking a lot and uh, last year I actually had a little garden that I did and I was able to harvest some tomatoes and cucumbers and potatoes and uh, beans and a couple of other things that uh, were really exciting and kind of you know in this COVID time I did I did feel the need to kind of do something that's you know in the house or within my ability and I felt like watching those plants grow and having them around me made me kind of calmer in a way because I saw them grow you know they're still plants are alive right and their 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 essence is just so calming I find because they're so slow they're such a slow paced life form that um, I really got in tune with that <laughs> And so yeah, basically we're total hippies um, out here. Um, I love y'all, big hugs, and thank you very much for continuing this channel while I was missing in action. I'll be going back to lurking in the background for now. I'll probably leave some comments on your videos um, and yeah, more than welcome to interact. But that's it. My life is quite busy, I have to say, um, so uh, I won't make any promises of, you know, making regular videos and anything like that. That uh, that time has come and gone, my friends. But I am here if you need me. Cheers.